speaker coach is one of those tools that kind of was a light bulb tool for a lot of students that I've worked with. Being able to have the ability to practice and get real-time feedback is where Speaker Coach really comes in and helps our students and even helps us as adults. We really have shown the students this program so that it can help them become better presenters because it's applicable to any classroom, whether you're in biology or eighth grade math and you have to present your thoughts and ideas. When I learned about Speaker Coach, I used it for everything. Every time I present a workshop, I will run through my slides using Speaker Coach so that I can see how's my timing. It's giving the students the confidence to be able to present in front of others and share their voice. But we can't teach them how to slow down and we can't teach them how to not use like or um or other things like that. This platform allows for that. A lot of times when we now students search for things, they actually don't know what they're searching for. So I think Search Coach simplifies those ideas for them. That's what I've seen with students in classes, is I've had a look at the way they, they look for things. I think that's the goal of Search Coach, to give them the ability to make that search a little bit easier. The first advantage is embedded within Teams. They appreciate that they can put site colon UK to search for a specific domain. And it's got a reliability function. Everything is checked by NewsGuard, so we can look beneath the search and we get information about reliability, how fresh the site is, and what domain that site's come from. Search Coach really does surface the tools and the information that our students need to make like well-educated decisions around the validity of the results that they're being presented with. Things like the domain, whether or not the NewsGuard score is quite high, really points towards how valid that data is. One of the focuses we, we've been having at All Hallows in the last two to three years is a greater focus on student well-being, student emotional learning. The Reflect app allows, at this stage, I believe, the students the opportunity to be self-aware of how they're currently feeling in that learning space. For the students, it's simply a question of pick your emoji and qualify it with a word or a statement. I can look at a class snapshot and see how my class is feeling that day, look at the, the words, and I can also look at individual students. And it gives me that, that opportunity, that awareness of, wow, I may need to touch base with, with Reese today and, and see, yeah, I saw you notice that you're, you're a bit overwhelmed at the moment, Reese. How, how can we have a chat about that? Or what strategies do we have that I can engage about that? They actually saw that if they were honest and open about their self-reflection, it did have an impact on what we would do that day within that teaching learning space. I can know individual students, and that allows me the power and the privilege to pivot my lesson in response to what I'm seeing. And if they're in a different space to where I need them to be, then I respond accordingly. And that helps and supports what I am on about, and that is to try and be the best responsive teacher and incorporating this well-being into our learning teaching environment.